Hey guys, it's Sarah. How you doing? Just thought I would do a quick um, little inside scoop on how I clean uh, my tools and just kind of disinfect, you know, how I do in between uh, appointments and um, just kind of weekly. All right, so first things first, uh, I'm going to pull all my blades out. I think this is all of them. Of course, they're super hairy just because the hair, like, just flies around and gets everywhere. But this is my holder for all my blades. I have all different lengths of blades. I got this thing from, it's kind of cool, I like it. But I think I might upgrade. I'm going to try to reorganize my office at some point, and I might film that. I'm not sure, but... Or at least once I'm done. Um, if we can take this thing out. My dog Gimli. Say hi, Gimli. Hi, Gimli. Hi, Gim. Gimli. Hi. Are you having a little nap? Yeah? Look at all that hair, man. Okay. So, um, this is my holder, and I just... Like, I mean, I would have to clean the hair off of every item of, um, you know, everything that's sitting up here, my shelves and everything, like every day if I wanted to keep the hair off of it. So I just kind of do this weekly. <sighs> um, but anyway, let me get my toothbrush. So I have to actually, it will go faster if I just use my blow dryer, so I might do that. Um, but usually I have to get the hair out of it first. And the blow dryer, the forced blow dryer, seems to be the best um, tool for doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, and um, I will come back. I might do it real fast, so I'm going to speed it up for you guys. All right, so that's much faster to try to blow out the hair. Oops. Um, like, usually I would just take this brush and kind of do that and get in there. Um, the blow, the force blower is much faster, um, and I feel like it's a little more effective. So once I have kind of all the, like, the hair out, um, then I just, like, lay them all in a flat pan in here, um, flat as I can, about overlapping too many of them. I mean, there's some that I don't use too often, but anyway, let's try and get these in here as flat as I can. I only have a handful of blades. I have some more coming, um, but anyway. So then, this is barbicide. It's what the, um, the hairdressers use to soak all of their um, scissors and blades and stuff. So that's why I get like a big shallow pan because then you can use less. Um, I know that it's easier uh, to get the dirt out quicker, I guess, um, to put them in like a jewelry cleaner. And that's what all the professional groomers who clean their tools use. Um, and then it's like an ultrasonic like vibration that just jiggles all the dirt and grime out of it. But after I do this, I think I'm going to just do that whole thing. Um, <clears throat> after I do that and leave them in there, one time I left them in there overnight, um, came back, and there was just a layer of grime just sitting in the bottom. So I feel like it does, it does its job to do that too. But that's pretty much covering all these things. Um, daily, what I use for my blades my brushes and my scissors um i'll use well not my scissors too too much but um i'll use this cool care um for clipper blades coolant disinfectant lubricant lubricant cleaner and rust preventative um that's what this cool care does it's by andis um, i can link this in my uh description box as well but um yeah i mean it lubricates it it has alcohol and it just evaporates and then it's left with a lubricant oily kind of uh, residue so that it doesn't dry it out um, or cause rust. So I use this pretty much daily, sometimes several times a day, and then after I'm all done with the dog, I'll just kind of like spray down um, my tools. Oops, I forgot this one. If you watch my videos, you'll see that. Sometimes I have trouble with these guys and it's because 
Um, either they're getting dull or I need to clean them more often. So this is what I would do. And then if you pull down, and I learned this recently, if you pull down on the, this is a five and one, um, it's for my wall, it's a five and one blade, so it's adjustable. Um, but if you pull down on this little lever here, it actually opens up the, um, the blades from each other. Then you can blow out the hair from in between. There we go. But I prefer to use the, uh, the forced blower than my breath or whatever. And it's more effective than blowing on it or even, even the toothbrush. See more hairs coming out. There we go. That's quite a bit. <laughs> I get out of breath doing this during the day. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'll stick that in there as well. So, weekly, by weekly, just depending on how many dogs I have the week or how big or how much I use these, um, I'll just kind of soak them in there. So that's why I'm out of my um, Barbicide gallon. I need to, or I think it's a half gallon. I need to get some more. I um, have gotten it from Amazon. But anyway, and then uh, for my brushes, I will take my metal comb and just, here, let me adjust my thing a little bit. Um, just kind of pull the hair out of it by going like that. And then I'll spray it down because it's a disinfectant lubricant cleaner and then it evaporates so then I'm kind of left with um, just cleaned and oiled brushes so I do that with all my brushes I just did a haircut yesterday um, that was the labradoodle with the, the leg thing where he would lay down the whole time cute little guy named Finley um, tons of hair I got off and had to brush them a bunch. And so I was so tired yesterday that I, and since it's in my house, like it's not a salon with other people. It's just my office and I can close the door. Hey Gimli, buddy, did you wanna go out, buddy? Do you wanna go out? Watch out, bud. He's mostly blind. <laughs> so he just kinda goes by sight and sound, or not sight, sound and smell. Anyway, um, so I didn't clean yesterday. I was so tired, my back was hurting and my hand was sore. I've got like some, I don't know if it's carpal tunnel or just some sprained muscles in there. So even sweeping sometimes hurts. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it will heal up pretty soon. I'm guessing I probably need to have a period of inactivity, but you know, it's my right hand. I use it every single day. <laughs> even when I'm not grooming, I'm still feeling like I'm straining it, but. Um, so I didn't clean yesterday, so I had to clean today, and then I swept already, and that's all just from that area. And I think that might be like a week's worth, maybe a couple weeks worth. I don't know. I haven't um, cleaned that area lately, so anyway. But yeah, this is what I do. Clean the hair out, spray them down. Try and do this weekly. Um... And then I spray them a little bit um, in between, but it's mostly like the scissors and the buzzers um, that I clean or spray with, with this during the week. Um, since it's a lubricant, I can spray down the inside of my buzzer as well. Need better holders for these. This one has some hair in it. A little hair out of it this is from yesterday this is one of my favorite little brushes it's like super soft it doesn't hardly hurt at all um i got it from my favorite groomers website um because she was using it on her um on her videos and it's just a little foot brush so when you go to trim the feet you just kind of brush up the paw pads you know and get the little hair that sticks between their toes um, and you can trim that and it's just it's not so hard like this one's a lot harsher 
Um, and But it's really good to get mats out and get to the skin. But I wouldn't want to use that on our feet because their feet are really sensitive. So <clears throat> this is a dematting tool. I don't believe I've used it lately, but it had hair on it, so we're just going to clean it. This is my um, undercoat rake, also by Andis, I believe. So it feels kind of good to get all of this cleaned out because it was covered in hair, and sometimes it's just overwhelming to um, try and do it all. <laughs> I had a pair of scissors that I wanted to put my little thumb grips in. Because there's a pair that I don't have thumb grips. Oh, it's probably this one. This one's new. So I joined the Scissor of the Month Club. And this is the first one that came. But the thumb is a little bit too big for me. And so my thumb slips through. So when you hold it, your thumb should stay right here. So you have, you know, I think that's why my hand is hurting because sometimes I end up using my whole hand and there's the muscles there. So I like to put the thumb grips inside if it'll fit, I just have to make them fit. Um, anyway, that helps me keep my thumb in the right position. If I can get it in there, it might be too big. Cause it already has like a, I don't know, some kind of a rubber coating on it. And get it in there, there we go. So that'll help me. Um, I really like the scissors, they seem pretty nice. They're from Vibrant by Ansley. Um, I don't know if this is even gonna fit. Oh, I might need to get smaller ones. Little grips, anyway. We'll see, anyway. Um, I used that yesterday. I used my curb scissors so much and my thinning shears. I love these chunkers. <sighs> I forget who these are. Oh, Purple Dragon. Purple Dragon's a really good brand, too. So, um, they don't have enough room in there, and I'm all out of barbicide, so I'm just gonna, like, lay these out and spray them. Disinfect and lubricate, and keeps it from rusting. These are my favorite. Hashimoto's. <laughs> Funny name. They're from Japan, but, oh, man, these are perfect for feet. For trimming the feet hair, especially on little dogs. I'll try and link everything I can uh, down below. But got mini, mini clippers, and then I have my larger clippers. So just kind of lay all that out. Other thinning shears. These are still pretty sharp. Um, actually, I could put the grips in here. But yeah, I'll do that later. right out. <sighs> All right. I have another metal comb in my other larger um, nail clippers out there, so I'll bring them back in, but I'm just going to get kind of I would like to soak them in the barbicide, but I'm out. I think that I have some more coming. But for now, I'm just gonna do this. It's here. So it cleans them, disinfects them. This is the main idea. Keeps them, you know, in good condition. They get the hair off of them, the dirt. Um, especially for the clippers, they'll perform better. So, yeah. And I need to, I'm, I'm planning to um, reorganize. I have those. Um, the drawers I uh, got because everything on my shelves is open and it's all getting covered in hair. <laughs> I hate having to clean. So I'm gonna transfer a lot of like this stuff into the drawers and keep them closed. And then the tops, you know, will just be a whole lot easier to keep clean and it's taller. 
So I'm gonna put those over here and just kind of reorganize a little bit. Um, and then just keep the shelves for all of my shampoos. So I have all of these shampoos and I have some baskets to hold them in and my large gallon containers um, will hopefully go in there. And I'll have to make room for the shelves. But anyway, <clears throat> I have uh, one set of drawers over here, but this is all my like bows and bow ties and happy hoodies and muzzles and cleaning supplies and stuff are in there so um anyway yeah so that's all and i'm gonna leave this here overnight i don't have any more dogs today um so i can in the morning i'll come out and get them so i have to rinse them and then dry them fully i'll probably use the blow dryer on the warm setting to dry them fully and then put a little bit of um clipper blade oil on each blade in about a few spots, probably a drop on a few spots. Um, but I wanna let this sit overnight because like I said, I don't have a jewelry cleaner yet. I have, I found one on Amazon that um, I probably will get eventually. It's only 40 bucks, but um, then I can do this on a regular basis, probably use less barbicide and go through it less. Cause I think that that half gallon was like 40 or 50 bucks, something like that. Okay, shh, this thing is acting weird. Anyway, but that's how I clean them. So yeah, once they're done, fully dry. You don't wanna leave any water on it or it will rust. Um, and I'll dry them off, rinse them, dry them off, and put some oil on them. And then store them back in here and put them back together without hair and dirt. Um, but yeah, and my these things are so light that the blow dryer keeps knocking them over so uh, they're just my ear powder but they're the powder is so light it keeps getting knocked over so anyway that's just how i clean and disinfect typically it's on a weekly basis unless i just have like one or two dogs um that week and then i'll wait for the next week um, but i do clean them and uh spray them down disinfect them so do the same with my table. I have, um, where is it? It's not in here. Oh, this. My all-purpose uh, Lysol cleaner kills the germs. I spray this on and use a rag and wipe down my table. Um, and I kind of just spritz these a little bit, but it's fabric, so it's not too bad. Won't hold too much bacteria unless it's like super dirty. Then I might throw it in the laundry, but anyway, yeah. And then I, I, Every time I do a dog that has a bath, um, I throw the towels in the laundry. So they're being done on a regular basis. So anyway, and every, pretty much every time in the afternoon, once I'm done with a dog, I will sweep down my office area because apparently my husband wants to use the elliptical machine. And this morning, the one day that I left it because my back was killing me, Apparently wanted to use it so anyway I'm gonna finish sleeping up here and call it good and I'll finish um, drying and oiling my blades tomorrow put everything back I'll probably transfer since I'm doing this now I'll probably transfer everything to my drawers so that um, I can keep them less hairy <laughs> and a little cleaner but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know that a lot of my clients watch my channel and, you know, for watching their dogs uh, get groomed. And so I thought maybe, you know, I say that I disinfect and clean, but I thought I'd give you a little inside scoop on how I do that and make sure everything stays sanitary. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. See that, but hopefully you can see okay. So I'm just <clears throat> doing a quick add-on to the end of this video about how I clean up. I usually just sweep this whole table off. I don't know. It's just the easiest. I do. I do sometimes use the blower and just blow, uh, blow it off. But it tends to just send the hair all over. And it happens enough as it is when I use the blow dryer. So I try to just keep the, the hair contained. Uh, so 
Here's my little routine. I, I tried to keep all the things that I used up here so that I can clean them and then put them away and everything else. This is my new system <laughs> as of last night. And then everything else uh, will stay in the drawers and they're not going to get, um, sorry, covered in hair. That's why I got the drawers because everything on my shelves was getting covered in hair. Okay, so I pulled the, <clears throat> the hair out of there. Give it a quick spray. Wipe the hair off these, give it a quick spray. Same with this. Oh, I'm probably gonna use that again. So that dog, yeah, so he, I think he just lends more towards um, the lab. And so he has undercoat and he does shed. So when I talked to her outside, she said <sighs> that when she brushes him, <clears throat> her brush is covered in hair like it's she can tell he's shedding and it's just harder to maintain um, the longer his coat is but they do like it long so we're thinking about three months or so is a good um, time because they want to keep it long he had about three inches and I left it at about a half inch give or take <sighs> um, so that so I took off two and a half inches um, get all the hair out of it um, so two and a half inches in like three months. I mean, I think, I think it should be fine. I think it should be because he was at a half inch. So in two months, three months, it'll probably be close to two to two and a half inches again. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, okay. So I'm going to put my, um, so my comb attachments, brush them out. Old toothbrushes are really great for cleaning out blades. I'm trying not to make this part too long, but just wanted to give you guys a quick little, because I did that cleaning video um, before. So maybe I'll just add this at the end of my cleaning video to show the final result of my organization. <laughs> that was all last night. I think I sit up to like 11 in here. Um, Trying to get everything cleaned. I like super cleaned. I got all the hair. I'm just blowing the hair off of this. And I give it a quick spray as well. Clean it up. Put it in my, this will be my um, blade drawer. And do the same for all of these blades as well. I kind of used a combination of um, blades for this dog that was here just because um, I was trying to keep it as long as possible I was trying to keep it at, at a half inch if I can um, but there were some places I had to go down to like I had to go down to a 3 8 on his legs and feet um, and then even the five blade I had to use which is a quarter inch I think um, <clears throat> because just the matting around his ears and stuff was so so massive um, so I had to just go shorter to get under. It was not going through. And I just, you know, in that area, I didn't want to hurt him. You know, I was tugging and pulling on it and I didn't want to hurt him anymore. So I just went down. I just felt like that was a little more humane, a little nicer for him. So it worked out. He's super cute, fluffy little head. I'm gonna put this back on my should probably just use the blower. I mean, the forced air really gets this hair out of these tools. <sighs> and then I don't have to keep blowing on it. Get hair in my lungs that way. <sighs> okay. This is the 10 blade going back on this guy. And can plug it in <sighs> so it can charge overnight until I have my next dog groom appointment that goes in there that's all clean my brushes are down there and I've got one more blade I have more blades than I have room for in this thing so I think I have two that are the same seven five 
Okay, there's two 15 blades. Just put them together. <clears throat> okay, sprayed this already. Okay, brush. Comb. Combs, I think, are in here. Yes. Okay, scissors. I got a separate drawer for my my thinning shears just so that I don't get confused and grab the wrong one. Put them in here. Yep. I love these chunkers. I think they're purple dragon. Yeah, purple dragon chunkers. Um, they're still really sharp, and they they do similar to a thinning shear, but um, they actually take off more hair at a time, so you can just go faster. Okay, scissors. Try and keep the hair out of there. All right. Ear powder goes down here. This is almost gone. Okay, all the hair's out. Yay, all cleaned up. Oh, I didn't clean this one. I tried using this one, but just his hair, I think just certain textures of hair, and his hair was super, super fine and fluffy, and that's what just tangled so easily on him and matted. Um, and it just like, I don't know, I think I need to get these sharpened again. But it just caught and it didn't go through, so I had to switch. I oiled all these blades last night as well, so they were pretty. They were pretty good condition, and it just wouldn't go through. So I may need to have these sharpened again. I don't remember when I did it last. It was definitely, um, I think it was last spring, so it might have been a year ago actually. Nine, ten months ago, maybe. All right, so that's all cleaned up. <clears throat> so I just did this again, just swept all the hair off the table. And then I have, where are they? Over here. I have my Lysol wipes. These are the ones that like really get off I don't know, it's just all I had at the time. I think I bought these when at the beginning of the pandemic and they were hard to find. Lysol wipes were really, really hard to find. But anyway, I got these. So I take the Lysol wipe and just wipe down all the surfaces of my table. Okay, all done. I'm just kind of grabbing the hair. So hair everywhere. Dirty, dirty table. It's like dirt and hair that flies around when I blow dry. Um, so sometimes I blow dry certain dogs that need de-shedding. I'll blow dry them before I bathe them just to try to get as much undercoat off before I bathe so it just I don't know just helps and so I'm like essentially blow drying a dirty dog and all their dirt and dander and hair and everything is flying all around my room so so when the dust settles <clears throat> it leaves it pretty pretty filthy and so I have to clean this is the not glamorous, not fun part of my job that when I'm done with a dog, a lot of times I have no energy to then clean my room. So sometimes I'll just spray down my tools and just toss them and just leave the rest <laughs> until the next day or whatever. But um, today it was kind of nice. I had been scheduling all of my appointments at noon because I needed to make sure that I had enough time to feed my diabetic dog at, this, at the right time because <laughs> he has to be fed every 12 hours. And so it's been about nine or 9.30 typically, but um, about nine-ish, give or take. And then he takes a little bit to eat and I have to give him his injection right after he's done eating. 
And then, so like, you know, that's 10. We're going to 10, 10, 15 by the time he's all done. And, um, you know, I'm getting going for the day and getting ready and stuff too. And um, we got a puppy and so she had a lot of energy and I needed to make sure that she was properly exercised and tired before I went to work um, so she could just occupy herself or be tired or be in a crate or whatever. When she was real little, I had to put her in the crate but um, while I was working. And then after a couple of hours, Jacob would let her out to go potty and he'd play with her for a little bit on his lunch break um, from school. But now she's eight, eight and a half months. Um, and two days a week she goes to Dogtown. So she's gone for five hours, which is pretty much right around the time that um, you know, as long as, that's the longest I would take anyway, um, in doing a dog haircut. And so, anyway, I was just telling the girl who came, she ended up coming, she had to come at 9.30 this morning. We kind of like had to, I had, long story short, I had to reshuffle some dates and she'd been trying to get in and I had somebody who wanted to swap. So she kind of on a whim took this other lady's spot. Um, we switched the two of them. But today, and so I was trying to make it work for everybody. And today she could do it, but she had to come in really early. So, because she had an appointment. So she came in at 9.30 and I just, that's why I set up so late last night to finish everything. So I wouldn't have to do too much in the morning. This morning I can just feed this guy, get him his injection. And my husband ran the dog to dog town. And so I have to pick her up in about a half hour. And it worked out, it actually worked out. And now I've got like the rest of the day. So <clears throat> I got hair in my throat. Check out this pile though, guys. Oh my gosh, it's insane. It's so insane. It's all this hair, several mats and stuff in there. About three, maybe even three and a half, four inches long. It's hard to tell. All right, well that's my little routine for cleaning up. Oh, <laughs> I also have to clean the bathroom where I gave him his bath. It's in there. Um, I'm not going to film that, but I just have to clean out the shower and pick up all the hair and put all my shampoos away. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the haircut. Um, this is just my little routine. I know I don't like show a lot of the behind the scenes um, stuff that goes on, especially like that. That sweet little man there. <laughs> he just hangs out with me. He was sleeping when I had the door shut. He was sleeping right there, right where Strider is. And Strider just hangs out in his crate. He likes being in there and um, some hair that got out here. And we try to keep him from doing too much because he did hurt his um, ACL ligament thingy. So he can't really be doing a whole lot. He, he should be just resting and you know, not using it very much. So he was in his crate or sometimes he just hangs out in my bedroom on my bed while I do the haircuts. And this guy hangs out with me, usually, just sleeping in here. And uh, on the days that the puppy Rosie doesn't go to daycare, she we try to tire her out in the morning as well. <clears throat> and she just hangs out. She'll sleep in here by me too. The two of them usually sleep on this rug. So anyway, thank you again for watching and <laughs> hanging in there with me while I chat away. But just in case you're wondering, I'll add I'll add this little part to the end of my cleaning and organizing video. Um, just so you guys kind of know what I do and how I keep it clean and how I take care of my tools and um, just how I run my business. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate your support. Take care.